Hi everybody, it is Miss Bailey and I am going to walk you through how to make your very own miniature book today. I think these are so cute. They could be a notebook, a book. You can decorate them however you'd like, but I just think they're so cute. They're like mini books. So to do this craft, you're gonna need a piece of colored paper, a piece of white paper, a marker or anything to decorate once you finish, and a glue stick and a pair of scissors. So let's get to it. We're gonna start with our white piece of paper and we're gonna fold it into four different sections. So first we're gonna fold it long ways. Some people call this hot dog style because it looks like a hot dog bun. And then we're gonna take the top piece of paper and fold it down to our middle section. And we're gonna do the same on the opposite side. So we're folding into our middle section. So we are left with four different creases in our paper. And we're gonna cut these so that we have four long strips of paper. This is where our scissors will come into play. And the straighter you can do it, the better. I'm not the best cutter in the world, but that's okay. And we've got one more left. If you have a paper cutter, that might come in handy rather than using scissors, but I only have scissors, so that's what we're gonna use. Okay, now that I have my four strips of paper, we're gonna fold these into different sections. So we're gonna fold them in half, and then we're gonna fold them again, and then we're gonna fold it again. And this is what our pages of our books are gonna be made out of. So we folded it once in the middle, two, three. So we're gonna do that with each one of these pieces of paper. So we have folded all four of our pieces of paper and we're gonna unfold them. And you can see where we have all these creases. We're gonna use those in just a second. Our book is slowly coming together. Okay, so we're gonna make this into one long snake, basically. So we're gonna glue all these together like so. So I've got my glue stick and I'm just gonna glue this end to this end. So I'm gonna glue one of my sections to the next section. You can use white glue or clear glue. I just think that for this project, a glue stick works better, but it's completely up to you. And we've got one more piece on here to glue on. And now it just looks like we have a big snake or a big accordion. Now that we've got it all glued together, we're going to fold this. So. We're gonna start with a fold in and then back. Like you're almost making a fan. So I'm going in and back, in and back, in and back, all the way to the end of our snake. So I'm just going, and it might be going against some of your previous folds, that is okay. And if you cut really straight and you folded really well, your book might look a little bit straighter than mine. Okay. And we have our book pages. So we need to make sure that they are going to stick together and not come apart. So I'm gonna bring back my glue stick and I'm gonna glue the top 
and the bottom of our snake accordion. I'm not gonna glue on the middle. So I'm gonna glue the top, if you can see that, and the bottom. The glue is kind of hard to see, but I'm not gluing the middle. I'm just gluing the top and the bottom. And then you can do this in sections. I think it's kind of easier to do in sections. But if you want to do it all at one time, go for it. We're almost done. And the next step is my favorite part. glue fell out okay so we've got it together and now we've got our pages of our book instead of an accordion we have our pages of our book now we need a book cover so previously I made a green cover for my book and now I'm gonna make a yellow cover for my book so we need to fold this in half hamburger style and then open it up and fold it the other way hot dog style we're only going to be using one section of this I folded it so we could get a better idea of where we need to cut so we're just going to cut one of these sections out on the crease I used cardstock just so it feels a little bit firmer than the regular paper. You can use construction paper or you can just use colored paper. It is completely up to you. So we're gonna fold this in middle this way, but we're not gonna push it down really hard. So we don't want a big crease. We just want a little bit. Honestly, if you wanna just fold it at the top and not go all the way down, that's okay. We just need a little marker, so. I'm gonna just pinch it here at the top so I've got the rest of it open. Okay, we're gonna fold both of these sides in but not all the way to the crease. So we're gonna leave a little bit of room, not all the way where I pinched it. So I've got a little bit of room right there. And we're gonna do the same on the other side, not going all the way in. So we've got a little bit of a gap here in the middle. Okay, next we're going to fold it to make our bind of our book. So we're making our binding. We need this to measure how much room we need for our binding. So I'm gonna fold it to the end, but I'm gonna use this book to measure how far I need to go. So I need to fold it a little bit more up there. And if you need to pause the video, to make your folds, that's completely okay. You can pause it and then catch back up with me. So I have about this much room that I need for my binding. I'm gonna do the same thing on the next side. So I'm gonna fold it, measure how much I need, and then fold it down. So when you open it, you have your bind of your book. Okay, so we're gonna put our book in our binding, our cover, and we're gonna take these long pieces and fold it over the last piece of paper. So I've got that side folded, and now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm taking that last little piece and folding it over. So this last step you can use glue. It's fine if you don't use glue but if you want it to be more secure you can use glue. So I pop these out 
and you should have a little opening on each side. I'm gonna take my two ends of my book and just stick them in there so it's nice and secure. And this is where you can use your glue if you'd like, but it stays pretty well without using glue. So now I have my little book. <laughs> so feel free to decorate it. I might put a face on mine. It can be a notebook, like I said. You can write in it. It is completely up to you. And now I'm gonna start a little bookshelf because I have all my little mini books. They're so cute. I would love to see your creations if you do this activity. Feel free to send us a picture on Facebook or email us. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.